Hello, my name is Horace Lynch. I'm here at the Fairfield Primary and Infant School and we are here with the Revolve International Relief Foundation and today they are doing a health fair. They are checking for high blood pressure, for diabetes, for all kinds of ailment within this community. So we are bringing the community together. We are bringing families together. They are bringing children. Everybody is involved. The MP for the area as well. And so um, they are looking to really give back to the community. And um, I am happy to, to be a part of this whole um, relief day. Thank you. State your full name and exactly what your role is in this health fair. Uh, my name is Garnett Nelson and I am the assistant um, director for uh, Re-Relief Foundation and today I am wearing several hats. At this moment I'm doing mental health assessment. We did a mental health um, presentation earlier to inform people about uh, the importance of taking care of their mental health because there are many times people forget about their mental health and they focus on their physical health and your mental health is important in order to maintain physical health. Absolutely. So, so let me ask you, what motivates you to do this kind of work with this, within this community? Well, we come from a, line, a long line of helpers. I'm, my mom was a person who gave back to her community. She always gave and she always helped. And I think a part of it is in our DNA. Um, it is in our DNA. We've gone through, I have, my old siblings, we've gone through a lot. We lost our mother when we were very young. And um, we've always had people, you know, that the Lord has put in our way that has helped us through different milestones. And um, we've been able to overcome. And we know that we're no special, more special than anyone else. And we want to make sure that we educate people, encourage people to know that they can, obtain, they can reach their optimum goal in life and live an optimum life. And I know many times people are not living optimally because they, aren't, they don't know. And so educating, um, supporting is very important to build you know, a healthy world, a healthy community, build a healthy world. Absolutely. You couldn't have said it any better. Thank you so much for the work that you do and um, continue to do the great work that you're doing. Thank you. I'm Patrine Brown and I'm doing some face painting with the kids. Okay, so how you find that? How is it going so far? It's good, it's good. They're enjoying themselves. Well, the kids are enjoying themselves. So what motivates you to do this kind of activity? Hmm. Love for the community. Love for the community. That's, that's, that's it in a nutshell right there. Love for the community. All right. Do you think you'll come back and, and, and do more work like this in the future? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Thank you so much, Ms. Uh, Ms. Patrine Brown. Continue doing the great work that you're doing. See, the kids are loving it. So, what we're doing right here, we are um, one of the organizers of Re-Evolve International, organizer of this program in particular. At this table, we are doing a body scan, and this body scan involves um, reading the charges on your body and telling you exactly what's going on inside of your body. So what we're doing here is the final assessment after all the other, um, the blood sugar, the BMI, the height, the weight, and all of that. Here we do the final assessment and make recommendations or, of, of things that the clients can do naturally to alleviate the symptoms that they are experiencing. Wow, this sounds like some high-tech stuff that you're doing here. Um, can, can you tell us what motivates you to come into this community to do this kind of work? Well, um, uh, as a naturopathic doc doctor, one of my pet areas is to do health and wellness to educate people of all walks of life so that they can understand how to take care of their bodies 
and what they need to do in order to live more so long and healthy life. So that's part of my motivation. I like to see people living healthy and strong, not living and weak. And that's not living from my perspective. That's not life at all. So I want people to be healthy and strong as long as they are alive. And that's my primary objective to get to as many people as possible in areas where the needs are greatest. Thank you very much. Sounds like uh, a lot of work. Um, thank you so much and continue to do the excellent work that you're doing. All right. My name is Karen Irvin Miller. Yes, and I'm from this community of Bangla Ridge. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So what brought you here today? Well, I'm a past student from this organization, so I hear that they're doing health care and all those things on your dental care and checking eyes and those things. So I come and carry my daughter with me as well, because at times we believe we are right, but we are not, so we have to come and get our check -out. Absolutely, absolutely. I uh, appreciate that answer. Um, can you tell me what you do in the community? Well, uh, I am a farmer. Oh, you're a farmer. This is a farming community. That's a beautiful profession. So it was nice talking to you, Miss Irwin. Um, Irwin Miller. Irwin Miller. Miller. Yeah, it was beautiful talking to you. Oh, All right. Sorry, nice, nice to meet you. Excellent. So what, what motivates you to do this kind of um, activity, this kind of work? Just the love of Christ. That's what God requires of us. As his children, he requires us to do you know, So that is why we are here. Okay. So I'm Dr. Morgan and um, I'm here today looking at uh, the importance of um, healthy lifestyle as we put these um, therapies together for the folks who are here. Many of them are here with diabetes, high blood pressure, um, arthritis, but generally most of us doctors do not get to the root of the problem, the cause. And so um, in putting their program together after they have been scanned by um, Dr. Brown, then we, I put a written therapy together for them to reverse. And I emphasize reversing the condition and not just for them to be coming back. So, so far, they've been pretty happy as we get to the underlying cause. And it's hard work, but the good thing about it is that everywhere we go, we see results. And that's the most important thing. We want people's lives to be better. Right? And as you and I know, that most of the health issues are caused from lifestyle problems that we do not take care of, whether it's in poor diet, lack of exercise, not drinking enough water, or stress factors. And so we work with them to correct these so that um, the problems can be resolved. And as myself, I would like to say thanks to this team, to Mr. Brown, Dr. Brown, Dr. Nancy, Dr. Nancy, and their team, and also myself, my own partner, for such a initiative. This is Ron Basel, the Councilor for the area. But we are in the Bangarich community and the Mawa community, so we are here today doing a health and wellness fair. This initiative was um, conducted, um, collaborated with our Member of Parliament, Darrell Vass, and we also like to thank the doctors for also coming out and making this possible in this community. So far, so good. It's a good look, and uh, I would like to say thanks to the Foundation, Dr. Morgan, Dr. Nelson, and their team, and also we like to thank community members for coming out and making this a successful event.
We initiative like these, we look forward to it. And all I can say, we are very grateful to these persons and also a member of parliament and also the community members for showing their presence at this event today. So I'd like to say thanks to everyone.